This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a 12 volt lead acid battery for your car at home. The complete process and techniques which you are going to see in this video can be applied on making completely new lead acid batteries or you can apply the same techniques for restoring a completely dead lead acid battery or if you want to fix a battery. For the battery making you will need some tools and dies. If you want to know in detail about these different tools then you should watch my last two videos on how to make lead acid batteries at home. When it comes to the positive plate selection I highly recommend purchasing good quality cells or plates. These are a little bit expensive but trust me it tremendously increases the battery lifetime and performance. For a car battery, you will need 24 positive plates. You can reuse the salvage ground plates or you can purchase new ground plates. I have already these salvage ground plates so I will use these ground plates. You will need 30 ground plates. You will also need separator sheets. In the market, you can find cheap and expensive separator sheets. Again, I must say, go for the expensive ones if you want long battery life. Separator sheets are used to insulate the positive plates from the ground plates. Its use is very simple. All you need to do is to sandwich all the plates. Make sure the rough face of the separator sheet is towards the positive plate. You will also need lead for welding the plates and for making the battery main terminals, which obviously I will explain later in this video. As I said earlier that I will be using salvage ground plates as you can see the contacts of the positive plates are longer as these are new plates while the contacts of the ground plates are shorter which means I will need to remake these contacts using lead. You can use a new battery container or you can use an old battery container like me. It's totally up to you. So I think I have shared enough useful information with you guys. I won't talk much during the rest of the video. I will only explain the most important things. So without any further delay, let's get started. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. There is some kind of carbon coating on the contacts. So for nice wheels clean the contacts of positive and ground plates. You can use a sandpaper or if you want to really speed up the cleaning process then you can use a grinder. Make sure you wear protective glasses.
Now for making a cell, keep the ground plates contacts on one side and keep the positive plates contacts on the other side. Now place the separator sheets and remember the rough side of the separator sheet should be towards the positive plates. The battery cell is ready. We have 5 ground plates on one side and 4 positive plates on the other side. All 6 cells are ready. Now we are going to make the battery main positive and ground terminals. If you want to know in detail about this metal die then watch my previous videos on lead as a batteries. I will provide links in the description. All six cells are ready and are placed inside the battery container. This is the main positive terminal and this is the main ground terminal. You can see the ground of the first cell is going to be welded with the positive of the second cell. Ground of the second cell with the positive of the third cell. Similarly, we have to connect all the cells in series. Now let's go ahead and weld these cells together. The tool which I'm using for welding the cells I have talked about this tool in detail in my previous videos. You can see all the cells are welded together. The battery main terminals are ready. Now the battery is completely ready and now it's time to add the electrolyte. Reading on the meter is 1200. All the cells are filled to the desired levels. Now I'm going to charge this battery for a few minutes and then I will share with you the voltage. I'm back after 20 minutes. This is how easily you can make any size lead acid battery at home. 
and this way you can save yourself a lot of money. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.